What's up guys, we back in the DB room with another film review. Now today we're talking cover four. I told you guys, one of my favorite coverages. I love it, there's so much to go into it. Let's jump right into it because I got a bunch of plays that I wanna go over, let's go. All right, let's take a look at this first play right here. We got the Arizona Cardinals versus the Seattle Seahawks. I got a lot of Arizona stuff because I know the DB coach there. I know they run a lot of quarters, so it was easy to find some quarters plays. But I put a couple different ones, too, from some other plays that I knew were quarters. Okay, so let's take a look at this one. Talk about run fits, okay? We don't talk that much about run fits because, eh, we want, we want interceptions. But at the end of the day, we got to be able to play the run. So let's talk about it. In quarters, I talked about how you can have too high look, right? We got a too high look. This looks exactly like too high coverage, right? Cover two, cover four, looks like one of those things, okay? So when you look at the box, look at this count right here. They got these guys way out wide, right? Way out wide. I told you guys, when they want to run the ball, they're going to widen those guys out because they don't want to bring extra defenders to the party. So they got this guy wide, these guys are wide, so they're not worried about those guys on the run game. You look inside, they got one, two, three, four, five guys in their box, okay? They got one, two, three, four, five guys to block, plus they got a running back, so that makes six, okay? So that right there is gonna give them numbers to run the ball, okay? So these safeties right here got to come into play when it's time to make a play on this run game, okay? So let's take a look at this play right here. Watch my safeties. Boom, right now, my safeties are coming down here to enter into the run game, okay? They're coming down here because you can see they got a hat for a hat up front. These safeties have to come into play to help get this guy down, okay? They have to do it. Let's take a look at it. Boom, come up, make a good tackle, okay? Let's look at it from the back side. All right, so you're going to see all these guys are blocked, okay? He's coming around, he's blocked, he's blocked, he's blocked. He's coming around to get up on him, looks like, okay? So you can see the safety is going to have to fit right in here, okay? And the thing about the safety is you know you got your buddy coming from this side over here, okay? So you guys are basically trying to keep that running back in a shoot, okay? Here and here, okay? So if you miss him, you want to shoot him to his outside leg so that if you do miss him, at least he got to come back inside and your buddy is coming to help you out, okay? So, safety comes up, makes a good tackle on the outside. Hey, we get that guy down, we line up, we play again. Let's take a look at it, the full play. Boom, great job, great run fits. That's what it looks like, okay? Now, let's take a look at some past stuff, okay? Let's look at some past stuff. We got the Jets versus the Lions um, back in 2014, our first year with Terrell Austin and his cover four scheme. Terry Austin is more of a zone cover four scheme. So let's take a look at how this right here plays out, okay? So we get motion over. Okay, so up top, we wasn't playing our box concept up top. We played more of a cover two concept up top in the quarters this time. But let's look down here at the bottom is where we want to focus, okay? We got two wide receivers right here. We got our slot and we got our X right here. And then we got two DBs, okay? So this guy right here is responsible for number two. He's responsible for number one. When you get two guys in close proximity like that, though, you can play what you call a zone it where you kind of pass it off, right? Because a lot of times when they know you're in quarters, they try to give you things like this to make you go against some of your rules. They give you double posts. We'll look at some of these routes later on. But you kind of work together, okay? So generally, the corner, like I said, he's over the top of number one, okay? Safety has number two. And if number two doesn't go vertical, he's basically inside of number one to help the corner out, okay? So let's look at this play. You see right now, number two blocks, okay? Number two blocks, he's already going shallow, so he's canceled out. So you're going to see the safety right here. He is now responsible for any breaking routes by number one. Why? Because this guy is going to widen with number two and open up that hole right there, right? And we said that the corner does not have any inside breaking routes, okay? So when this guy blocks this safety no, right now, I don't have number two vertical. I am now the inside defender 
on number one, okay? So let the play run. Boom. Safety drive that dig right here. Safety drives. This corner did a great job of replacing over the top, okay? He replaced, okay? That's what it, about quarters you're working together. Your guy go in, the safety drives, you have to replace over the top, okay? That is what you do. Corner right here, Darius Slade did a good job replacing over the top, and boom, he gets rewarded with a nice interception, okay? Safety did a great job of driving the inside breaking route, and the corner did a great job of replacing, okay? Let's take a look at that full play, okay? You see him come over two blocks, safety drives, corner replaces, boom, interception for the good guys, okay? Interception for the good guys. Now let's take a look at what it looked like when you don't do it right, okay? Let's take a look at what it looked like when you don't do it right. We got the Jets here, same game, Jets versus the Lions. Now the Jets are on defense, okay? The Jets are on defense, they're playing quarters. We got our tight end down here, okay? He's in the grave digger. So we already said that when those guys are in the grave digger, we don't expect them to go deep. Doesn't mean that they can't, but you're not really expecting them to go vertical, okay? So we got a receiver down here at the bottom. These two guys right here are in quarters. So their reads, he's going two to one, and he is over the top of number one full time, okay? Over the top of number one. We talked about in the last clip. Somebody go inside and the safety or somebody has to drive it, boom, your job is to replace over the top, okay? So let's take a look. Two blocks, so two is already shallow, right? Two shallow, this guy is over the top of number two, okay? So now, same way, this safety right here is responsible for the inside of this route, okay? This corner's job is to get over the top like we've seen in the previous clip with Darius Slay. Safety does a good job of staying here. I would like for his shoulder to be a little square, but it doesn't really matter. He does a good job of having his eyes in just in case the quarterback wants to throw this ball. He can go and make a play on it, but our corner does not replace, okay? Corner does not replace. He gets lazy. He start looking, and this is what happened when you don't replace, double move, and now it's touchdown, okay? Touchdown. Let's take a look at that full play. Comes up, inside, double move, don't get over the top. Now you have a touchdown, okay? Now you have a touchdown. All right, let's take a look at this clip. We got the Arizona Cardinals again, and now we're going to look at this. The offense is in a bunch formation, okay? They're in a bunch formation. So when you're playing quarters and they get in a bunch, depending on what system that you're in, you play what you call a box, okay? You got their three and you got your four. You got your guy that's going to the flat. You got your other guy that's low inside. You got your corner that's high outside. And you got your safety that's high inside, creating a box, okay? So it's us four over those three, okay? This guy right here is basically responsible for that two going to the flat, okay? Then we got two guys up here to take care of those guys, okay? That's kind of how it plays out, okay? So now let's look at this play, okay? The thing about it, you get a bunch of quarters beaters when teams know you're in quarters, okay? So let's watch Patrick Peterson right here and how these guys play their box, okay? So you can see this guy wide now, this guy slides over, okay? Now we got corner and safety playing the high, okay? Playing the high. So what these teams try to do, this is what they try to do. They try to get this guy right here to get caught up on this guy. You see the separation between these guys right here? They try to get that safety to get caught up on this guy so that he can widen him and beat that corner over the top, okay? That's what they try to do. Boom, see that? Safeties, this is not our play right here. That's not our play. Anything under 10 yards like that, that is not our play. That's these guys under here handle that. Our job, protect this deep ball right here, okay? Do not let that guy get that. He catch that ball, we drive and tackle him, we play another game, another down, okay? But this safety broke up. You can do that at times when you got an all-pro corner and Patrick Peterson, he's doing a great job staying top shoulder on this wide receiver and basically running 
the post route for him, okay? He's basically running the post route for him. Boom, takes it away. Safeties. Let's not leave our corners out to dry, okay? Let's take a look at it full play. They got the box. They slide. Safety don't jump. Pat P does a great job staying top shoulder, okay? He does a great job staying top shoulder. Let's take a look at this play, okay? We got the Atlanta Falcons against the Arizona Cardinals. We just saw that they shifted this guy from the backfield, okay? So we're in 12 personnel. I told you 12 personnel, you get a lot of stuff, okay? But they shift him from the backfield. He's in the grave digger. Like I said, we don't expect him to really beat us and go vertical, but sometimes they can. This is one of those times where he runs a route, but he's not really running a vertical route. This is what they're trying to do. They're trying to create separation, okay? So these guys are in the grave digger. We got these guys in tight. So now they already feel like they have our eyes, okay? They're trying to tighten us down, okay? So what's going to happen in quarters, you get, like I said, 87 switches. This is what an 87 switch is. This receiver right here is running the eight route. Eight route is a post. This tight end is running the seven. Seven is a corner route, okay? So that's called an 87 switch, okay? So what happens is, like I said, these guys right here should be playing it together, okay? They should be playing it to, with each other. We're going to pass it off. They come down the field and switch. We're going to pass it off. I'm going to take the high inside. You're going to take the corner route to the outside, and we're going to have them nailed down, okay? But sometimes you don't do that, and now this guy is responsible for his two going to the flat, and this corner has to stay over the top of number one, okay? So let's take a look at this play and how it played out. You see right now the separation, okay? This guy is trying to widen this corner, and this guy is lagging, okay? So what they want, this is what they want. They want you as a safety to get so caught up on this guy that if you're playing him closely, this guy is going to be going past you by the time you realize it's 87 switch, right? Or they want you to be so high on this guy running that you never come off on the underneath route, okay? So that's why they have a fast guy and a slow guy to create that separation, okay? That is why they do that. So look at this play right here. Comes up, boom. Right now, this is touchdown. Quarterback, put that ball out here, that's touchdown, okay? Corners, we got to do a better job like we saw Pat P do of staying top shoulder on this guy. What happens is, if you play the switch concept where the corner comes off, look how high this guy is in comparison to this guy. That's what they want. This got to be so high that he never see the tight end and he breaks free, okay? You get it a lot of times with Kansas City Chiefs and Tyreek Hill, Travis Kelsey. Tyreek Hill goes streaming down the field running the post route, and then Travis Kelsey just slides right underneath for the corner route, and he's running down the sideline wide open. But safeties, once again, stay high inside. Take that corner you fall off, make this play, and it's a done deal, okay? At, at the end of the day, he don't throw it, but we don't like that look right there. That's what they go to the sideline and see, and they come back in the fourth quarter and say, hey, we can throw this post right here because that corner is not playing it great, okay? That's what happens. So we'll take another look at it. Full, full play. Come out. Safety bite. That should be touchdown, okay? Should be touchdown. He don't throw it, okay? So talk about another quarters beater. It's called the Dino. Once again, they box us up, right? They box us up. That's what you get a lot of times when you are a quarters team. So we talked about the 87 switch. This time we're going to talk about the Dino. The Dino is the double post, okay? You're going to get this guy running here. This guy going to try to widen that corner again, and he's going to try to go in right behind him. This guy is clearly a decoy trying to pull the safety, pull somebody out. He's trying to widen this corner so he can bang it in there for the touchdown. And you get that a lot of times when they're in – this shot zone right here okay when teams get between a 25 and a 35 maybe even a 40 
They like to take shots to the end zone because they still can run their deep routes. They still can run past guys from that far out, okay? Once they get down here inside the 10, now it's more difficult to run past guys so you don't get a lot of the shots. But these routes right here, you're gonna get a lot of that stuff between the 25 and the 35. And they're right here on the 25, so it's prime time for it, okay? So let's talk about what's happening up here. Up top, we got these two guys who are playing this guy, right? Because his job, the safety's job, is to play number two to one. He has no number two. His number two is over here because they are in a four strong, okay? So he's basically double teaming this guy up top. Well, let's look at this guy. He's a cut split. He's inside the numbers. So what do we talk about? We expect these guys to come here, come here, some type of way. That's why they cut him down. So what they're gonna do is, this guy, if he comes, he's gonna take him, he's gonna replace him. That's simple football. That's football 101. All right, you have nobody to cover over here. You replace the guy that left covering your man, okay? That's football 101. So that's what they're gonna do over here. This safety right here is gonna have this guy, he's gonna fall off and play inside of number two, or number one right there, okay? I wish he would've pedaled a little more to stay tighter to this guy, but nonetheless, they played it, it worked out. Let's take a look at the play. Boom. You can see this guy grab him coming across and you can see this corner replacing up top. That's perfect. You can see him trying to run through. He's trying to pull this guy so that he can bang him in there, right? So that guy, Pat P, is not in great position right now because if this corner, if this safety is squeezing this guy, he's gonna have that guy for the touchdown, okay? But they played it like that, so I have to assume that that's what they were trying to do because he didn't really squeeze number two much. He stayed in this Dino window. So I would assume that they were expecting double post. He was going to him. He knew that was going to happen, and he played like that. Pat P stayed outside to protect for any kind of corner route, okay? So that's what happened on that play, okay? and it ends up in a sack. Let's take a look at it. Boom, falls off, and it ends up in a sack, okay? That is the Dino, okay? Now let's talk facts, okay? We talked about facts in the breakdown. Let's talk about it here, okay? We got a tight end down here, so that means they're in speed, right? They got a receiver up top, they got a slot here, they got the X here, probably the Y or the Z out here, okay? I don't know how they, who those guys are, how they got them configured, but they got three wide receivers up top. Anytime you do that, this guy backside should already know I'm expecting this guy to come down the field, okay? I said this guy right here, now he's playing two to, to three because he got speed guys in here, but if you play a fax, now he can go two to one like normal because this guy he doesn't have to worry about because our other safety is coming over to the party. This guy on the backside, you're on the tight end, you gotta lock him up 100 out of 100 times, okay? So that's how that play work, you know that. These guys obviously understand what the corners are doing, that's why he don't try to bend it in, he try to hit him up the seam right here, but that linebacker does a great job, get his hands on him, so now he can't just bang it in like he wanted to bang it in, okay? See the play? Tries to bang it way over there. Safety still comes in and makes a play on it, okay? One thing I will say as a safety, I don't really like how he turns like this and looks over here. Stay square, okay? Stay square like we talked about. Give him your eyes. I like your eyes. Give him your body, though, okay? Give him your body because this could be a monster tight end over here, okay? When you go running over there like that, they know they can work backside on you, okay? So stay here, read the quarterback, give him your body, stay right in here, and then have your eyes here. Boom, he throw it, you go make the play, okay? That is how that works out. Boom. We don't want to give up too many of those. We don't like the penalties, okay? Now, let's talk some underneath stuff real quick, okay? We talked about these underneath guys right here. They are playing two, three, and two, okay? So let's identify who these guys are. This right here is number two up top. This right here is number three down bottom. This is number two, okay? 
So underneath, you always have to be worried about who can become, okay? These guys are in close proximity here. These guys are in close proximity there. Meaning, if this guy go in, this guy go up, this wide receiver will become my number two, and this tight end will be number one, okay? If this guy go in, this guy go out, then he, the wide receiver, becomes number three, and the tight, the full, the halfback becomes number two, okay? Well, if they do what a lot of teams do, if they do something like this, where they bring him in, him in, and him out, now let's talk about it. This guy right here becomes number three, he becomes number two, and he becomes number two to the other side, okay? So, all you do underneath, you just pass all that stuff off, okay? You just pass all that stuff off. He comes in, you know he's going to some other guys. You sit back and you wait for the other guy. You expand. You just pass all those guys off, okay? So these guys did a great job of passing those guys off. Let's take a look at it. Pass them off. Pass them off. And you end up with a sack, okay? Let's take a look at it from the back side. You can see the quarterback is clearly looking to this seven route, okay? And I wanna show this play real quick because I want you to see what this nickel does, okay? This nickel right here does a great job of punching through number two and picking up the quarterback. If the quarterback is looking this way, then you expand because you know he wants to throw the ball that way. If he's not looking that way, there's no need to expand, probably because this guy's gonna be running an inside breaking route. But the quarterback is clearly looking this way. This nickel does a great job and expands and gets in the way, okay? I don't really like what's going on here, but that's not what we're talking about on this play. We're talking about the underneath guys, and I thought the underneath guys did a pretty good job. We can clearly see the quarterback from the backside. He's clearly looking that way. The nickel pushes through. That is perfect, okay? That is perfect. Okay, last play. We talked about match concept and zone concept, okay? It's going to be real quick. Wade Phillips was a zone concept guy. See this right here? 29. This is a young GQ right here. Young GQ. Had to pull this out of the archives, okay? But we're playing Jacksonville. Okay, these guys right here play a lot of 12 personnel, so we played a lot of quarters against those guys. So we got, boom, us two up top, up two down bottom. We got these guys, these guys, and then, boom, he's playing. They're playing 2-3-2 two, two underneath, okay? But it's a match concept, so watch how Brian Cushing up here matches that guy. Watch how the flat defender down here matches his guy to the flat, and then we got a linebacker one-on-one -on -one with the back right there. Just watch how those guys match these routes, okay? Tight end comes up. Watch how he matches. Boom. You can see down here he's matched. You can see here he's going to get him. You can see here he has those guys. We have these two guys doubled. He's doubled down bottom. So now the only thing that the quarterback can do, if you got a good pass rush, he can't hold a ball. So he got to get rid of it. But if he holds it, he can end up having, you know, one-on-one -on -one matchup on the inside with that back that you don't like. But he's trying to get rid of the ball because he know these guys are dead. He got to try to throw it here right now. And you can clearly see what happens on this play. Boom. Even if you would have called it, it would have been a major loss, okay? So that right there is a lot of cover four stuff, man. It's a lot of stuff in the cover four. As we go throughout the season, you're going to see a lot of plays are going to have something to do with cover four, okay? So I know it was a little long, but I wanted to try to get all of these plays in just to show you different things inside of cover four, okay? So take your time, look at this stuff. That's all of our base coverages. We did one, two, three, now four. So take some time, look at this stuff, and be ready for when we start to really, really, really break down some film, okay? Peace.